In this video, you'll learn how to simplify expressions involving exponents. To simplify expressions with exponents, it is important to understand what an exponent means. An exponent means that the base number is being multiplied by itself as many times as is given by the exponent. For example, 4 to the 6th power means the base 4 is multiplied by itself 6 times. So, 4 to the 6th equals 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, which is 4096. There are many exponent rules that make simplifying expressions with exponents easier. For example, when multiplying two powers with the same base, you can add their exponents. 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 4th means 3 times 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 3. In this expression, 3 is multiplied by itself 9 times. The resulting expression can be written as 3 to the 9th. As you can see, you could have added the exponents 5 and 4 to get the exponent of 9. When dividing two powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. 7 to the 6th divided by 7 to the 4th would equal 7 times itself 6 times over 7 times itself 4 times. You can cancel out 4 of the 7s on top and bottom. This leaves just 7 times 7 on top, which is 7 squared. As you can see, you could have subtracted the exponent 6 minus 4 to get the exponent of 2. Remember, both of these rules apply only when the bases of the powers are the same. For example, the rules cannot be applied to the expression 3 to the 5th times 6 to the 8th because the powers have different bases. When a power is being raised to a power, the exponents are multiplied. Take for example the expression 2 to the 3rd to the 5th power. This would be 2 to the 3rd times itself 5 times. If you add all those exponents, you get 15. So the expression can be written as 2 to the 15th power. As you can see, you could have multiplied the exponents 3 times 5 to get the exponent of 15. An expression with a negative exponent is the reciprocal of the power with a positive exponent. For example, take the expression 3 squared divided by 3 to the 7th. The powers are divided, so you would subtract the exponents. That gives you 3 to the negative 5th. Let's look at what this expression means by expanding the original expression. 3 squared divided by 3 to the 7th can be written as 3 times 3 over 3 times itself 7 times. 2 of the 3's cancel themselves out, leaving 1 as the numerator and 3 times itself 5 times as the denominator. So, this could also be written as 1 over 3 to the 5th. This is what the negative exponent means. 3 to the negative 5th can be written as 1 over 3 to the positive 5th. Notice that when it moves to the bottom of the fraction, the exponent changes to a positive value. Now let's use these rules to simplify some expressions. Which expression is equivalent to b to the negative third times d to the negative second times b to the negative fifth times d to the negative fourth? When multiplying powers with the same base, you can add their exponents. Not all of these have the same base. Use the commutative property to reorder the values so that the powers with the same bases are grouped together. Now you have b to the negative third times b to the negative fifth times d to the negative second times d to the negative fourth. Multiply the powers of b by adding the exponents. This gives you b to the negative eighth power. Multiply the powers of d by adding the exponents. This gives you d to the negative sixth power. So the result is b to the negative eighth times d to the negative sixth. 
The powers have negative exponents, so they are written in the denominator of a fraction, and the exponents become positive. Since nothing is left over, a 1 goes on top of the fraction. The expression can be written as 1 over b to the 8th times d to the 5th. This is shown in choice c. Let's look at one more example. Determine whether each expression is equivalent to 7 times 10 to the 5th over 7 squared times 5 to the 3rd, all raised to the 4th power. To simplify, start with the exponent outside the parentheses. This is a group of powers being raised to a power, so the exponents should be multiplied. This gives you 7 times 10 to the 20th divided by 7 to the 8th power times 5 to the 12th power. Multiply 7 to get 7 times 10 to the 20th divided by 7 to the 8th power times 5 to the 12th power. There are two powers with bases of 7, and they are being divided, so you should subtract their exponents. The numerator 7 has an understood exponent of 1. 1 minus 8 is negative 7, so the power of 7 has an exponent of negative 7. This means that 7 to the 7th goes in the bottom of the fraction. Let's take a look at the answer choices. The first choice still has the four exponents. In fact, it looks similar to the original problem. What changed? The 7 in the front is gone, but the 7 in the denominator now has an exponent of 3 instead of 2. Is this valid to add the exponents? No. In the order of operations, parentheses and exponents come before multiplication. Multiplying first changes the value. You can see from the simplified version that the power of 7 will have a negative 7 as its exponent. So 7 to the 7th will appear in the bottom of the fraction. With choice A, when the exponents are multiplied by 4, the result would be 7 to the 12th, which is not the same as 7 to the 7th. So answer choice A is not correct. Take a look at choice B. It also still has the exponent of 4. How is it different from the original expression? Again, the 7 in the front is gone, and this time the exponent for the 7 in the denominator changed to 5. When raised to the 4th power, this would give 7 to the 20th in the denominator, not 7 to the 7th. So choice B is not correct either. Choice C has 7 to the 7th in the denominator, which is correct. However, it also has a power with base of 2 on top, and no power with a base of 10. What happened to the base of 10? Well, 10 to the 20th can be written as 2 times 5 to the 20th, which can be written as 2 to the 20th times 5 to the 20th. This is interesting because there is a base of 5 in the denominator. Let's rewrite the simplified version with the 10 broken up into 2 times 5. It can be written as 2 to the 20th times 5 to the 20th over 7 to the 7th times 5 to the 12th. There are two powers with base 5 being divided. Subtract the exponents to simplify. 20 minus 12 is 8. You are left with 5 to the 8th power. Now you have 2 to the 20th times 5 to the 8th over 7 to the 7th. This is the same as choice C, so choice C is equivalent to the original expression and is a correct answer. Choice D has the same 2 to the 20th times 5 to the 8th on top, but it has a 7 on top and 7 to the 8th on bottom. Is this equivalent? To divide 7 over 7 to the 8th, subtract the exponents. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So, 7 to the 7th goes in the bottom of the fraction. This expression is equivalent to the original expression and is a correct answer. Choice E looks completely different than the others. Let's look at the base 7 powers. To divide 7 to the 4th over 7 to the 6th, you subtract the exponents. This gives 7 to the negative 2. So, 7 squared goes in the bottom of the fraction. 
the expression in E cannot be correct. The simplified answer should have 7 to the 7th in the denominator, not 7 squared. So, choice E is not correct. Choices C and D are the only options equivalent to this expression. Now you know how to simplify expressions involving exponents. Thanks for watching.